And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, another day with heat indices above 100 degrees, but going ahead in the forecast, we're looking at a bit of an active pattern settling in, along with the risk of severe weather going ahead as well. Right now, still dry, though. 87 in West Lafayette with southwesterly winds, 13 miles per hour, pumping in the heat and that humidity. Temperatures across the region, the upper 80s, low 90s. We topped out at 91 in West Lafayette earlier on today. It's 91 still in Delphi, but with that dew point, feels a little bit warmer. We're seeing those temperatures, or at least the heat indices, up as high as 105 degrees still at this hour. We are seeing 108 right now in Atlanta. That's what it feels like for the far southeastern portion of the viewing area. Now, we're not the only ones across the Midwest dealing with this heat and humidity. Feels more like 97 Terre Haute, 99 in St. Louis. But notice the cooler conditions off to the northwest. That's all thanks to a weak frontal boundary that's sinking southward, eventually bringing a little bit of a cool down to Greater Lafayette over the next 24 hours. But still, we're looking at Hermine off to the east of us, helping to bring southerly winds in by stalling out a high pressure system still across Tennessee, bringing the southerly winds and all that heat and humidity across the region. That's why temperatures were once again so warm today. But notice the scattered showers and storms rolling further off to the east. Still, by about 11 p.m. or dry, we should see the first of that rainfall reach our far northwestern counties right around 12.30 a.m. Eastern time early tomorrow morning. So scattered showers and storms flowing in across the region uh, early tomorrow. Now the Storm Prediction Center of America placing a marginal to slight risk of severe weather across much of parts of Illinois, Iowa, even southern Wisconsin, even far northwestern portions of the viewing area, Newton and Jasper counties under that marginal risk for severe weather early tomorrow morning. Your snapshot forecast this evening, temperatures falling off from the mid to upper 80s down to the upper 70s as we get towards midnight. Southwesterly winds continue. We stay dry again up until about 1230 to 1 a.m. Eastern time early tomorrow. Just as temperatures fall off to around 74 degrees early tomorrow morning, those chances of rainfall continue. Scattered shower and thunderstorm activity ahead of that weak frontal boundary flowing slowly southeastward. I'd like to see a better chance of storms tomorrow afternoon ahead of that cold Cold front and again the Storm Prediction Center of America placing the majority of the region under a marginal risk for severe weather. Primary threats from any of the storms tomorrow, small hail and gusty winds. Now we will cool off Friday, a primarily dry day, at least with the latest forecast models, indicating that maybe a few pop-up showers and storms are a possibility during the afternoon hours. Saturday, however, looks like the real weather maker, a passing cold front making its way across the region. Could bring the risk of severe weather across Greater Lafayette. The primary threats, strong straight line winds, maybe uh, some tornadic uh, rotation as well. Certainly a situation we're going to keep our eyes on for Saturday. Once you get to Sunday, however, drier, cooler, 75 and sunny to wrap up that weekend. All right, sounds good. Yeah.